Hey guys, it's Jackie. So here is the long-awaited video that you guys wanted to see jazz. No, I'm just kidding. Um, where how I store my candles and what they look like, um, where I store them in my basement and hear what the candles look like in my front room. So this is the intro to that video and then I have some questions that I'm gonna answer at the end. So stay tuned. Um, so I'm gonna go into how I store them in the basement, how I store them in this room, and then answer your questions. Hey guys, it's Jackie. So here is an updated um, video of my collection. So I'm just gonna show you where I store them here in my basement. Down here on the bottom are some of my Easter stuff. This is stuff that my dad has given me that's from like two to three great grandfathers. Like that's stuff from World War I. Over here I keep Jazzy Sue's litter. Um, I wanted to show you guys Hot Fudge Sunday finally was froze enough and the sticker came off. So I was really, really excited. Now the wax is thawing. Here, I have a wallflower plugged in with a blueberry pie. Extra white vinegar, kitty litter, you don't need to know that. And then here is where I store my Scentsy wax. So, for this video, I'm not going to go through each scent or um, what I have. I'm just going to show you how I store them. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how I choose my candles, which ones to burn, where to burn them, that sort of thing. So I'll give you my logic. Here on top are my Candles by Jackie Wax. So I have the three um, brittle pieces here, the wax brittle. And then behind, I have my um, Butterscotch Toffee Candles. And I think I have two, four, six, eight... 10, 12, 14, 16 of those. And then behind are my beloved gooey marshmallow. I think I only have like eight of those left. Really praying to the Bath and Body Work gods that we see that. One thing I wanted to show you guys, I don't know if anyone on YouTube has talked about this candle. This is Nook, No Place Like Home, Soft Musk, Vanilla Bean, and Cedar Wood. Notice it has no label. Oh, and it has a galvanized lid. That's weird. This one was poured in 2017. No lid. Because supposedly Bath and Body Works had copyrighted off of another candle company. So I had gone into my local Bath and Body Works and I said, oh my gosh, the labels are missing off of that. And they said, no, those are copyrighted. So I bought one. I wish I would have bought two just to have in my collection because I figured, oh my gosh, that's got to be something we can talk about later. And then over here, ice cream shop, that's the broken candle that I had gotten in my order. I So when you get broken candles in your order, please be careful. <laughs> I had glass everywhere. And then the gooey marshmallow that I chunked. This is a painting that my great grandma, my great aunt painted. And then my dad gave me some of his books from childhood. Here's where I keep those bags, these bags that I got from Amazon. And then back here, are, this is what I call my, I might only have one of the candle shelf. Then we come down here and I have my summer boardwalk, hot cocoa and cream. Behind that I have my hot fudge sundae, you know, pizza candle. Then back there is angel food cupcake, random. Trying to give you guys a good idea of what's all back there. Um, and no, I have not counted how many candles I have. Marshmallow Fireside in the back. And then you step down one more. There's my ice cream shop and the stars. Bonfires and S'more. Chibella. Berry Waffle Cone. Jazzy Sue. She really does have a supporting role, doesn't she, Kaylee? And then my beloved blueberry pies, which I'm only at 14, and there's my blueberry pie chunked. So I this shelf is in my basement. It's cooler down here, you know, year round. So I wanted my candles to be safe and not melt before their time or before I want them to. 
I got this shelving unit at a garage sale for five bucks. I think I scored. Um, so I wanted to show you guys, this is how I store them in the basement. So now I'll take you upstairs and show you where they are in my front room. Okay, so this is in my front room and this is how I store my candles, like the ones that I want to look at. Um, there's a little bit of mixture in here between uh, D DW Home. My sister gave me that Sonoma. I've got some Ray Dunn mixed in. My wallflowers are back there. Then on the second shelf are candles that I want to look at. These three are my empty chunked, so those have nothing in it. My birds from Target, which I think are super cute. My blue candles. I don't know why I did that. I just thought it was fun. A Michigan sign. And then the shadow of Jazzy Sue is coming. Just some random candles. Most of these were from fall of last year. I got some mixed in. Harry Bendel. Um, that company right there underneath my ice cream shop. Then there are some village candle in there. On this shelf, that box contains old Scentsy wax that you can't get right now. Then here, I'm trying to get out of my shadow, these are my scent shots that I'm working through with my Candles by Jackie. Behind there are my Disney movies, my Zuras, and then up here is my Sweet Shop 2.0 and my Made in Detroit, my JKM can soy candles. So this shelf is a work in progress. I think I told you guys before, Joe had gotten it for me um, at Habitat of Humanity in Ann Arbor. And so I'm constantly trying to figure out what I want it to look like. And then just if you're curious, on top, I have extra Scentsy Warmers and my Ray Dunn mugs and then just some random stuff there. But this is what I have right now upstairs. So part of this video is gonna, you're going to see me, but I'm going to be talking about um, you know how I choose, how I burn them, how I take care of them kind of deal. So I'm not going to say goodbye because this will be... This will probably lead into you seeing me talking about my candles. Okay, so now that you have seen my candles in the basement and here are the ones in this room, um, one of you sweet people, you guys asked me some questions um, on my candles, so I want to answer them for you uh, without jazz being in the way. So, how many do you light at any one given time? So it really depends on my mood um, and what how strong I want my candles to smell. I would say most of the time I have one lit in this room, my kitchen, my um, hallway, and they will all be different scents. They are never the same scent. They are all very different. Um, do I choose a specific type of scent for each part of the day, like morning, noon, or night? Um, I typically only light candles when I know that I'm going to be home for long periods of time, which is usually in the evenings because I work during the day and on the weekends. So just depending on my mood, like if I want to smell bakery, spicy, um, I don't typically do like tropical or floral. I'll do them just to try them out. But for the most part, I'm more bakery and, um, you know, like food kind of scents. Um, where exactly do I light my candles? Do you light them in the same place every time? Yes. Um, on my hallway table here and in my kitchen or on the kitchen table where we eat are typically the places that I light candles and I will light one in our bedroom. How do I choose which candle I'll light? So that's, it kind of leads into the same question, um, just depending on my mood, like what I want to smell or if I feel like Jake stinks that day, like extra special, then I'll light a really strong candle, like my butterscotch toffee and then that kind of leads me into I try to only light my candles where I know that the wax will be able to pull out properly so I'll light it you know the three wicks here and then I'll burn it for over an hour before I extinguish it so I try to make sure that my wax pool is even before I blow it out I don't know if that's good or bad I just like that and I don't ever trim my wicks 
unless they get that really weird mushroom top, then I'll cut it off over the trash can. But for the most part, I don't trim my wicks to start. Um, and do I finish one candle before lighting another, or do I have a hundred half burn candles? That was a really cute question. Um, I do have tons of burned candles, but for the most part, I try to get through the candle um, all the way and burn it to the end. But sometimes I'm trying out a lot of scents, you know, for my YouTube channel, where I want to be able to give a fragrance review, a post burn review, if I haul the candle. But I do try to warm it all the way down to the bottom, and then I might pick a different candle, or if we're in a different season, then I have that. But I would say I do probably have about 15 that are lit that I haven't burned again that I just kind of hang on into my collection. And then, um, so this subscriber said, I usually have three in rotation, so three are always halfway. Um, she can't do more because her OCD would uh, kill her. So I try, like, I have a candle propped up here, and it's only burned down about that much. But then, you know, my butterscotch toffee here, it's almost gone. Like, it probably has one more burn in it, and then it's done. Um, so I try really, really hard not to waste my candles. But if I don't like the scent, then I'm not going to light it again. And I do want to get a candle crack, which, like, warms the wax in the jar so that you can get the fragrance a little bit more. And I have... I have, I have that video of where I've chunked my candles so that I'm not always lighting them. I might put them in my warmer to get a different kind of burn. And I will tell you I have banana bunt cake in my kitchen and it smells stronger than if I were to have lit that candle. So I do like that. Um, and just as a update for that chunking, it took six weeks for that candle to be ready. And I literally had to dig it out of that glass. So that was kind of a wah wah on that candle. So there you guys have it. There's my candle collection. There's how I burn my candles, how I choose. It really just depends on my mood or what season we're in. If it's a candle that I absolutely love, I will continue to light it till it's gone. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's kind of choppy there in the beginning, but I wanted to give you that. And I was like really super excited to find that uh, shelving unit that I had gotten at a garage sale for $5. Like that to me was a win. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!